Hello everybody. This is Gabriella's Art and today I want to share with you some ideas about how to create natural paint from different type of ingredients and then <clears throat> I'm going to show you how it actually look like. So I have made watercolor paint from rust this is how it's originally looked like the rust pigments I added water and added floral to get this beautiful color you can also see it in the jar I am going to mix it up a little bit the only thing that when you make pigments from the natural environment they tend to kind of sink after a little bit like you could see this one the water gets in the top and sediment gets in the bottom this is same with this one so before you use it you kind of have to shake it up a little bit a few of them I already shaked up so this is rust and this is the beautiful color that it gives I also did previously some samples of some of the oil paints I cre created from these same natural ingredients and you can see those here and I will talk to you a little bit more about those as well <clears throat> I'm still learning and experimenting with natural pigments and to make paint on my own so this was made from rust <clears throat> I'm going to put them away as I show you to you so I know which one I show you this paint is made from coffee grounds so I did coffee grounds and then I added a little bit of water and a floatrol I'm going to have to mix this one together too because all the coffee grounds sink in the bottom <coughs> and it's a beautiful darker color as you can see the light shines on it a little bit but yeah you can see the difference nothing else is in there just used coffee grounds so I'm reusing the coffee grounds added some little bit of water and float roll this next one is made from ash And when I talk about float roll, let me show you the bottle. This is what I use. Ash just came from the fireplace. So originally it looks like this. I use just a little filter to filter it out and this is the color we will get I'll show you in the top so just gonna clean my little stick here and mix this together as the sediments go on the bottom and do a sample the gray color for you here. I also did some mixing the gray from the ash and mix it together with the black that I'm gonna show you. I just have a little bit of that in here too. This is charcoal. So the charcoal from the fireplace and I just use a an old bottle that I use. I try to recycle all the bottles and this one actually I just can squirt a little bit out to show you the back. The 
these are our colors so far. This beautiful orange color came from Hungarian paprika and chili peppers. First I just started with one of them, but then I added the other one, just for fun. And why not? Going to mix it together a little bit. Show you the color. I'm going to add some of this color here to our color palette. It is so fun because it smells like paprika. Now with the spices, you want to be careful so that they don't mold. I added a little bit of water and then the float roll and added a little bit of borax. I looked up online and that was recommended to prevent molding. This next one is going to be turmeric. This is the color. Mix it together a little bit. I love this color. It's a beautiful kind of yellowish brown. But it kind of dries yellow, so I can show you. This is a little picture I did. It's not completed, but I've been experimenting with the paint. And that's the yellow color that the turmeric gives on the top. All right, now we have our turmeric. I have two more colors left. One I just mixed yesterday. And this is made from ginger, ginger powder. And water and total. And I haven't done a lot with this yet, so I haven't tried it on any type of canvas because I just made it yesterday. So I'm curious to see how this will pan out. I use a little different one for this. This is the color. I kind of wanted more lighter colors, like this is kind of the cream color. Let's see, add you over here. Beautiful. I'm hoping to learn more and continuously expand my colors so I can create more things with them. And this green color I got, I got this green color from Leek Powder. I had a friend who gave me some leek powder and did the same thing. Added a little bit of water and then float roll. The colors I'm most happy with, I have to tell you, is the colors that are from the natural environment. The ash and the charcoal and the rust. And I'm hoping that I can do more and more of those, finding natural pigments, grinding them, and adding them. So this is going to be a darker gray, because this gray is the mix of the ash and the charcoal. So here is the watercolor palette that I have created so far and these are from spices, powders and natural things from the environment. You can change how you like the consistency with them. So I've been also experimenting <coughs> with creating some some oil colors too. And as I showed you before, these are the colors I got. The top one here is turmeric, and this is the paprika. This is actually cocoa powder. And then I have the charcoal and the ash mixed together in both of these. Now the ones that are more not as shiny, I guess, on this side 
I actually mix them with bee wax and orange oil. I used this wax to mix it with. Because I wanted to see what I get and I kind of like those colors as well. But the paint also was kind of thick and difficult to handle. Then I decided to add some of the St. John's Wort oil that I created which is organic olive oil and St. John's Wort flour soaked in sun for three to four weeks and then I got <coughs> these colors from it. You see how this one is shinier than this one and this is just regular charcoal on the canvas and here we have the turmeric and the paprika and the cocoa. So the colors, based on if you just have the wax or you add additional oil, kind of turned out different. <coughs> I do want to show you a little sample of them. So I have the ras, paprika, cocoa, and the ash mix, mixed with charcoal. <coughs> Let's start with the rust. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So this is now oil paint created from natural elements. And I'm still learning how to work with them and what is the best way to handle them. So I just made small amounts and I didn't want to make a lot and waste it if I don't like it or I don't want to use it somehow. <coughs> Let's do the Paprika next. Nice orange color. Let's do the cocoa powder. And I'm still working also on the best consistency for these, some of them more thicker or more thinner, but I never tried to create oil paintings before, so yeah, it's all a learning curve for everybody. And the last one I'm going to show you. is the charcoal together with the sand and with this one I didn't do a screen of it before I just kind of mix it together how it came out of the fireplace so it's a little bit more chunky but actually I kind of like that effect I kind of like the chunky effect so as I said it's all the learning curve this is the four colors that I have for the oil painting that I started to experiment with. And this is how they look like after they dried. I made them about a, a week ago now. And again these were the watercolors I currently created. Let me show you. I showed you one of the paintings. This is another one. This painting is just have a first first layer on the watercolor on it. And let me grab one more, a bigger one. This painting has a lot of the yellow turmeric on it and I can bring you closer
browser to see the colors. So I'm experimenting and learning about creating and painting with natural pigments. Let me show you the colors with this a little bit closer too. These are the oil ones and then just the regular. I was curious how the charcoal looks just by itself on the canvas. And when we come closer, close up on the little oil ones and close up on the colors of the acrylic pigment painting I created. And this is the other natural painting I started to play with. These are first layers, so they're probably going to get more layers and some more details with them. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial how I made my paintings from natural elements. Until I see you next time, this is Gabriella Art signing off. Take care, have a lovely day.